Hello everybody, we are back here on Hunting Simulator 2, and today I figure we will go out with one of the new shotguns that they added and do a little bit of pheasant hunting. Now I real quickly want to make sure that we got all of our licenses, just so that we don't accidentally shoot something that's not licensed. Does look like we have everything though, but yeah, we're going to be going out to the Roosevelt Forest and testing out one of these shotguns on some pheasants, and I believe they also have some turkeys there, so if we do find a turkey we'll go for that as well. Real quickly, we will take a look at everything that's here, and there is indeed turkeys, so we're going to be going for some pheasants and turkeys, and it looks like they also have geese and ducks, so maybe if we come across some of those, we'll take them too, but let's head out there right now. Alright, so I have decided on the A400 Extreme Plus True Timber DRT. I think this is going to be a pretty good one to use. If you guys would like me to use any of these other shotguns that came with this DLC that was recently released, let me know because I'd definitely be interested in trying as many of them out as we can on a pheasant or turkey hunt. So let's go ahead and go out. I decided to bring along the speed line. I believe this is the Classique in 30-06 as my second gun. Oh, looks like we do have ourselves some ducks and geese, so... Guess we can take out a couple of these guys while we're here. Get a couple kills. Then we'll see if we can find ourselves a pheasant. But since these guys are here, we might as well take them out. Oh, it's flying away. Yeah, there was no way we were going to hit those, unfortunately. But hopefully we'll be able to find another little flock of them. Oh, here we go. We actually got three of them down. That's awesome. We do have to kind of watch our ammo, though, because you only get 15 shells. Oh, oh, come back here. All right. I don't want to shoot anymore because I'm pretty sure I just maxed out our goose license, so we're going to go ahead and just have our dog pick all these up, and we'll see what our license That's is that. sitting at. Alright, so here's the first one. Crow, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing, buddy? You can't just be throwing these things around. You're going to damage the meat. That is just a young goose. So let's have him retrieve Fetch the others now. And bring it back to me. Oh, there we go. There's a couple more of them. All right, so we're down to one shell. Uh, we'll have to go find a tent before we can actually kill any more. Where did our little crow bring it? Here we go. So it's a another young Ross's goose. We've got like six or seven more in the water, so it's going to take me a little bit Fetch. to get them all retrieved. But once we me. get them all, we will move on and try to find a tent so that we can refill our ammo. If all else fails, we are pretty close to the lodge, so we could always go back here. All right, so here we go. Here's one of those little mallards. They actually look really good. I like the model for the mallard. It actually did a pretty good job on the little mallards. And that is a mature mallard duck. Uh, we're not really going to keep any of the matures because I already have a mature. Fetch that. And what's weird about it is, anytime that you get a mature female, when you put it in your trophy lodge, it actually shows as a male. So it really doesn't matter whether you keep a male or a female mature. They both look the same when you actually put them in the lodge, which is kind of weird. But, I mean, I guess it saves us the hassle of having to try and find a male mature of every bird species go here is another ross's goose this one is an adult this time it's the biggest one we've had so far all the other ones previously were young ones so it looks like we got one two three and four left i do believe so it looks like we got only four left in there so we're about halfway through grabbing them all and it does actually look like our goose license is only a three of ten so we actually can kill some more I guess it was ducks that I was almost filled on, so I guess we could try and get one of these, actually. There we go. That is the last shell we had. So we will have to find either a tent or go back to the cabin in order to refill our ammunition. 
There is one of those little mallards. Another mature. They seem to be pretty easy to get matures. There we have another young Ross's goose. Yeah, the majority of these Ross's geese seem to be young ones, unfortunately. Are, are you interrupting me, sir? Peace, these ducks, they're so loud. Here is another Ross's goose, if he would drop it. There we go. Another young one. I believe there's only one left in the water. If I remember correctly. Go fetch. And then we should be good to move on. All right, here's that little goose. And, ooh, we actually finally did get a mature one. So we will keep this because I don't think we have one. I'm pretty sure the last goose that we got that was mature was actually the white fronted goose. So this one is something we needed. But uh, that is all of the birds, I believe. Or actually, there might still be one more. I guess there is one more. We might have killed more than I thought we did. But, I mean, not complaining there. And, yeah, we did indeed kill more than I thought. We got that little goose right there. Here we go. The final goose. Actually, can't walk that far down. So, I hope he doesn't drop it right there. Of course. Of course, Crow. Of and course, to me. little crow is still learning his fetching skills, but at least he gets them out of the water. And this one is an adult Ross's goose. Here we go. Here's a tent. Now we can fast travel back to the cabin and get ourselves some more ammo because we are going to need it. While we're here, let's go ahead and claim animals. We'll go ahead and sell a lot of these. I believe this is the only one we need to keep. Yeah, we'll go ahead and keep that Ross's goose because I believe that's the biggest one we've had. And I just heard a pheasant. So, I guess we'll try and look for it. I don't know exactly where it called from. Oh, uh, now we know where it is. It's actually this way. So let's see if we can get this little pheasant. Ooh, there's actually a white-tailed deer right there. I do want to get that, actually. I have yet to kill a white-tailed deer in this game, so... Ooh, we finally hit it. And I believe I saw the pheasant also. Well, I guess we'll see if we can get the pheasant, too. The pheasants in this game tend to fly around quite a bit, so even if we do spook him up, there's a chance he'll fly past us. That's why I wasn't too worried about spooking off the pheasant after we kill that white-tailed deer. Alright, so here's that white-tailed deer that we shot. It's just a spike, so this is a young one, but a white-tailed nonetheless. This is the first white-tailed deer that we bagged, so that's pretty cool. Now let's see if we can find ourselves that pheasant. I don't know what direction it ran off in. I don't even know if it stayed on the ground or if it flew away. But we will try to find out. Man, I love that reload animation. Once again, absolutely beautiful. Every single gun that I've used in this game has such a beautiful reload animation. I'm very impressed with them. Honestly, every time I make a video on this game, I just can't get over the reloads. It looks so clean. Absolutely beautiful looking. Oh, we got a pheasant over here, 144 meters away. I think we'll just crouch walk towards this one. That might be the best way to do it, just so we don't spook it off. And then once we get close enough, we'll get it to fly and take it out. We're definitely getting close to it. It is kind of in the trees, so I don't really want to spook it off without us knowing where it is first. I want to get sight on it before we try to spook it at all. So I am going to stay low and hopefully not alert it to our presence. Alright, so it's 65 meters away roughly. Getting almost close enough to where we can spook it up. We are next to kind of a little bit of a clearing. So this might actually be the perfect spot to do this. Hopefully it cooperates and continues on to the right. That would be the ideal location for us to spook it up in. Alright, so it's about 50 meters out. 
I think we're going to do it now. I think now's the time. Let's see if we can get this guy to fly. Go. And we got him down. So that is the first pheasant on the ground. Let's go up and see this guy. Where did he actually die? I don't believe I saw where he landed. But our dog should find it. In fact, we can have our Fetch dog retrieve it. And bring it back to me. There we go. That is a little pheasant rooster. Nice. That actually is a pretty clean looking model. I like that. I like that a lot. They did a good job on the pheasants. A lot of the birds in this game look spot on. And that's a mature pheasant, actually. Um nice that's awesome that's really awesome to find i guess we'll keep looking around see if we can find another pheasant but i'm happy because we got a mature one as our first pheasant so even if we don't find any more i'm completely okay with it we got ourselves quite a bit of waterfowl we got that mature pheasant and that white-tailed deer so even if we didn't really get anything else i'd still be happy with this hunt it's been a successful hunt Wait a second, it's actually showing that there's something else dead back here. Um, did we maybe kill two pheasants in one shot? I'm kind of confused now. Because it is saying that there's something else dead over here. I started walking away and then looked at the map and realized that there was still a red X on it. It could just be a bug. In fact, it is looking like it's just a bug. Because this is where we just claimed our rooster pheasant. So I think that indicator is just bugged out. It's unfortunate, but we'll just head back to the lodge. Ooh, we are about to be back at the cabin, and we actually have another pheasant right here. So that's pretty nice. Let's see if we can get close to this guy and then spook it up. Oh, that's actually a bear. Uh, we probably are going to go for the bear instead. That's actually going to be worth a lot more money. So we're definitely going to go over this hill and try to get this bear down. I'm not sure how the 30-06 is going to perform on a bear because I haven't really tried it on one yet. We've tried it on elk and it did pretty good. We've used it on a lot of different deer species too and it did well. But a bear is a whole nother story. There it is, it's a grizzly bear. Let's take a shot. Let's see if we can get a pheasant too. Well, from the looks of it, it seems like the pheasants spooked off before we even got a chance to see any. But we hit that bear pretty good. And it's actually dead right here. Nice. You know, the models for the grizzlies actually look pretty good. Obviously, the fur is a little bit weird, but that's just kind of how this game's fur seems to be. Let's go ahead and grab this grizzly bear. It is an adult grizzly. These give really good cash, though, so it's always good to try and get them whenever you can. And ooh, we got ourselves a pheasant over there. Let's go get that. All right, so we got one 136 meters away, and then there's also one that's about 70 meters this way. We're obviously going to try and get the closer one, but if we're able to, we'll try to get the second one also. I don't actually know where this first one has gone to. Because it hasn't made a call in a little while. Oh, right as I say that, it's right here. Let's run up and try to get it. Um. Well then, that's not how I expected to be getting it. Let's try to run over here and see if we can find this other pheasant before it gets away unfortunately the second one did get away so let's just head back and pick up that one that we did kill it's not too far from here so I can probably just run to it I'm not gonna have the dog go for it because last time it kind of bugged the map out a little bit but I'm not exactly sure what this pheasant was doing that's a turkey that is a turkey right there Let's see what we can do. We also have a pheasant flying above us. We got the pheasant. I don't know where the turkey went, though. All right, well, 
I wasn't going to have our dog grab any of the pheasants, but now that we have two down, I think to save time, I will have it retrieve Fetch. one, and then I'll go grab the other one. Just so we can save ourselves some time. So here's one of them. This is a mature male. So we now have two mature rooster pheasants. And then I don't know what this other one's going to be. It's probably also going to be a rooster. I didn't get a good look at it though. So there's a chance it could be a hen. Let's see. Our dog has it right here. It is indeed another rooster. And it's another mature one. So I guess we'll just keep the oldest one since we have three of them now. But that was a nice surprise. We get back to the cabin and there's a lot waiting for us. There was three pheasants, a turkey, and a grizzly. It's unfortunate we couldn't get the turkey, but I'm glad we got everything else. Here we are back at our cabin. We had a pretty insane day of hunting. It was definitely a action-packed hunt. Very excited that we were able to bag as much as we did. So let's go ahead and claim these animals. Go ahead and sell the white tail for 400 credits. Let's go ahead and look at what the ages of all of these are. The grizzly we are for sure selling 3400 credits. And the pheasants were 2 years, 2.2 .2 and 2.3. So we'll keep the 2.3 and then sell the others. They're only worth 84 credits each. So it's not that big of a loss if we keep one of them. Let's go ahead and return to the lodge. Alright, so we're back here in the lodge and... Overall, I'm very, very happy with the way today went. We had a pretty awesome hunt. Bagged quite a few animals, too. And right here is that Ross's goose that we kept. This was the first mature one that I've found, so it was nice to be able to add this to our trophy lodge. And then in here we have that little pheasant that we kept. The model for the pheasant looks fantastic. I'm really impressed with the way they look. This also is a turkey that we got on one of my live streams over at twitch.tv slash scarecrow141. I do five streams per week. So if you guys are interested in seeing some of those, come check it out. It's a absolute blast. But the lodge is actually looking pretty good. We now have, it looks like, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten trophies so far. So it's definitely starting to fill up. We got a long ways to go. But we're getting there. We are getting there. I do believe this is only an adult elk. It might be the mature, but it's been so long since I got that thing, I actually completely forgot what it was. It was one of the first things that I kept. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. If you are new here and you are liking what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. Also, if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better. But that's going to be it for me. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.